What's going on everybody? I'm Oprius and welcome to a new video about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, electronium and all that good stuff. Now unfortunately today I can't fuse my iPhone to film the video which is why we're in that old crappy just my face webcam mode. It's been blown off the hook from work all day and I know that as soon as I start filming uh, it's going to ring even on airplane mode and I kind of need to just keep it readily available uh, for work and all that jazz. It is not broken or anything. It's right here. It's perfectly fine. So I know some haters be like, you're phone, you're broke, you're stupid. Anyway, um, today's video is going to be, um, in my opinion, um, some of the top three coins that I like to look at uh, in the crypto space going into 2018. And these are going to be three coins that not necessarily are the greatest and the best. And I'm going to explain my reason on these coins and why I like them. Okay. Taking a quick look at the market, Bitcoin has been hanging out under uh, 10,000 for a good healthy amount of time. Now, I don't want to say healthy, but it is under 10,000. It's not dropping anything past really this range or anything scary like that 6,000 that we saw a little while ago. The market is under 400 billion. We are on a continued market decline, which is scary. Uh, it just means that altcoins and such are decreasing in their value as of right now. So it's a great time to build your bag. And that's also kind of why I wanted to talk about this video. Uh, 14 billion in 24 hour volume and 41.9% on the Bitcoin dominance. So now, usually when I look at the Facebook posts and everything, a lot of people are like, oh, I have $1,000. Should I invest in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or uh, Litecoin? Those are the big ones. Now, Litecoin isn't a bad grab. It's under $200, and I do see it jumping back over $200 as well. But $1,000 isn't going to get you a lot of turnover profit with these bigger transactions. You know, you'll be able to buy yourself one in like almost, uh, almost not even a half of Ethereum. Uh, you're only going to be able to buy a ninth or a tenth of Bitcoin and even if that goes up like decimal places you're not going to see a lot of profit uh, even with Litecoin you're, if you do a thousand you're only going to be able to scoop yourself up about five now if that does jump back over um $200 from the current price that we're looking at right now, that's $20 per token. That's a $100 profit, which isn't terrible. But in the long term, uh, some of these coins are what I'm going to talk about. And you've heard me talk about them a few times. So in my number one spot, this is very uh, inter like interchangeable uh, depending on the individual that's looking at this. You either like Ripple, of course we're going to talk about Ripple, or you're going to hate it. Uh, it's not really a utilization. That's something that I could personally use. I have done videos about it before, but it is something that I can increase my wealth, increase my bags on. Uh, so in the number one spot, Ripple and I'm actually going to do multiple coins in the first, second, and third spot for reasons. Ripple is something you just jump on Bittrex and exchange, you know, and buy, blah, blah, blah. My other number one and my more popular number one is Electronium. This is one of my favorite currencies. It is down a lot. I mean, it hit 23 cents at one point in time. Its Satoshi value is kind of crap at the moment, but this is a great opportunity to build some incredibly huge bags of Electronium, especially since this coin has huge possibilities of going to like two three, maybe even four dollars in my opinion. So if I took a thousand dollars right now and I didn't do my stuff right and I bought we'll say four point six, I would be able to get twenty one thousand seven hundred and thirty nine coins. Now being a bag holder, even if this coin jumps back up to twenty but let's say twenty five cents for all arguments sake, which it has done before when they were doing some announcements, we would then be looking at a sheer profit of $4,434. The reason why I say 4,000 instead of the number you see on your screen is because we are not, we're taking, I'm taking into consideration the thousand that we spent on it. So this is one of my absolute favorite coins just because it is a phenomenal marketing coin. The mobile app on Android has released, you guys know all about this coin. It is a mineable coin and you don't have to have one of the greatest systems in the world to mine it. I personally was able to mine about a thousand of this on my tiny little machine. That is the reason why it's one of my favorite coins. I technically don't have to spend a thousand dollars like I said, if I was going to spend $1,000 on this coin, I could just set it to mine right now, which is going to lead me into number two. Uh, I am looking at these as a hobby miner, not someone that's turning around as uh, someone that could just drop thousands of dollars to buy these bags. Number two spot is going to be a vice versa as well. And this is a super easy coin to mine. It's 
Verge, and this is kind of like a baby Monero uh, with a little bit of Microsoft backing. It has taken another dive as well uh, from its up higher prices, but this is a very similar coin with very similar potential to make market moves, not technological moves, as Electronium. It's currently sitting at 0 0.037 cents. If someone held a gun to my head and said Verge or Electronium, I would go Electronium, but Verge is also another uh, secondary cheap coin, a penny coin that you can get that might potentially see some growth. I don't see this taking a growth like Electronium, but maybe 10, 15, 20 cents is a possibility. So if you did something, again, where you took your $1,000 and you purchased it at the price right now, you'd get 27,000 of those tokens. And let's say this coin only bumped up to 15 cents, which is a very strong possibility, you've now profited $3,000. Also, this coin is mineable as well. The algorithms um, and the difficulty is a lot easier than Electronium, so I can mine even more of this coin on my, cheaping, my cheap ultra mining rig uh, as well. Um, kind of vice versa with this coin, this is the coin Digibyte that got me started with cryptocurrency mining. This is how I learned. I got back into this currency when it was um, not even... It's seen some great spikes. This is a healthy price to scoop up some. I'm not saying spend $1,000 on this coin, but if you want to mine this coin for days upon days upon days, you're going to build yourself a huge bag of this coin, and we could potentially see this coin jump into a 5 to $0.10 cent range, in my opinion. It has gone up to some extreme heights that I never thought it would, and I wish I held on to my bag at the time. I think even all the way up to, if we can get it, 12 13 cents, which I thought was unheard of for this coin, but I definitely don't think that five, six, seven cents is out of the picture. And this is also a very, very easily mined coin. The difficulty is low. Even on my crappy rig, where I was pulling about two, three hundred of these a day, uh, but this was back when it was around like 121 Satoshis. So not the worst. Take a thousand dollars. We're going to do this again. We're going to buy this much of the coin. We're going to get 37 thousand of these tokens and let's say this jumps up to six cents in between that five to seven cent range that I said you're gonna be able to turn your thousand into another thousand dollar you're basically gonna be able to double your money on that so and then the last coin um, this one's a little bit different the other coins with the exception of ripple have been very easy coins for someone like myself to mine with a tiny mining rig but this is an awesome platform uh, Ada has had some great movements I got in at about 10 cents this one is a coin that has a lot of uh, potential and technological advancements um, Excuse me. Uh, 22 cents. This is probably the heftier on the list, and that's why it's number three. But this coin is going to be utilized. This is a long-term hold. And like and I repeat, this is a long-term hold. Uh, right now, it's got 31. It's got 25 uh, billion in its circulating supply. The total supply is 31 billion, and then its max supply is 45 billion. So we're encroaching uh, relatively close to its uh, max supply, which, you know, the laws of supply and demand, and it's going to be finite and done. Um, but again, this is a long-term hold. So if you were to take $1,000 right now, and instead of putting it inside of a bank account, and you took $1,000 and bought this coin, I could foresee this, especially if it's technology... Um, this technology is very useful and beneficial. I see this topping over a dollar, maybe even $2, um, maybe even $5. So let's just kind of be generous and say that in the next five years, your $1,000, if this coin turns into a $2 coin, your $1,000 is going to be able to net you at least $8,000 in profit. So um, Ardana, or Cardano slash the ADA coin is uh, pretty nifty. Look it up if you have some time. I think I've done a video on it before uh, where it is being utilized in that uh, conservative energy uh, saving energy going green move with solar panels and stuff like that so let me know what your thoughts are again this list is coins that are pretty much relatively cheap with the exception of Cardano everything was really under six cents today um, and those coins have seen uh, the other side of 10 cents a couple of times let me know about your opinions if you have some big dollar coins that you like to talk about let me know i'll be more than happy to take a look sorry that the video has gone back to the webcam but it should not it, i won't be doing that in the next couple of days um Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Absolutely, please, definitely. I appreciate it. And um, I'm O'Price, and we'll see you guys next time.